I did this show last Father's Day. When I got off stage, this guy came over to me and told me I reminded him of God. And I told him the only thing perfect about me is my family. 30 fingers and 30 toes, all God-like. And my daughter, speak to me in a voice I imagine God's to sound like. Speaking to me of a future like the kind I dream of living. And one day, she'll go to be a woman no man will ever deserve like her mother. Who makes melodies out of moonshine, fingers touch me, the things all nice girls are made of like the songs say. And our son will someday grow to be something more amazing than we ever imagined. Like a mustard seed moving mountains like a grain of sand. And together, they will conquer the world. And all I could say was, I was witness to it. And I couldn't be more clever. Believe me, I tried. But this is not about poetry or sounding prolific. It's about a black man's pride in the world trying to make things harder than they already are for him. Trying to find beauty in the ugliness of it all. And we are all trying to escape that darkness or nothingness in a never-ending story of the human condition. And you'll never hear me say, I'm only human. Because saying it like that can make it sound like a bad thing. Because life as a poet is harder than it looks. Road trips make my babysitter see my baby more than I do. And it's hard, right? Picture two weeks gone, come home to relief through hugs and kisses. Then come painful reminders like questions with even harder to explain answers like, Daddy, do you still love me? I thought I'd die when she asked me that. My heart felt like, I got a metaphor for that. It just hurts. So I try and keep composure and explain to her everything she needs to hear to let her know her daddy will always be here. And tears form under eyelashes, pregnant with guilt. And she says, Daddy, don't cry. And hugs me and rubs my head. And I break down later in areas of my house I keep my secrets in. And even later, I whisper things to them all in their sleep. I only wish I had the courage to tell them when they were awake. And that's what makes this stage so safe. All the comfort of a fourth wall in a three-dimensional world. All the trappings I could ask for. See, I sacrifice every time I step to the mic. So you tell me if what I'm saying is worth me missing my family for. Thank you.